Maybe you're out there enjoying ham radio while you're hiking or you're camping, and all of a sudden you look down and you realize, oh shoot, I don't have much battery left. And I'm in the middle of the woods, so there's no real charger anywhere around. What do you do? My friends, check this out. For less than $10, you could build one of these USB pals and it'll help you out a lot with charging. Check it. No. That's right. In my pocket, I have a USB pal, but what is it? I'll leave an Amazon affiliate link below. But what this is, is the USB pal. It's labeled something else, of course, and it comes with just these wires here. And all you have to do is put some power pole connectors on here. Of course, putting a five amp inline fuse would be highly recommended, and I'll do that in the future. But the premise is simple. You have a battery like this LifePo 4 battery here, that's 4.8 amp hours. You plug it in and guess what? Then you plug in your USB-C cable, you plug in your radio, you got a charging symbol and you're good to go. But it doesn't just end there though. All of a sudden you're charging your radio, your radio's finished charging and you realize that your phone is complete garbage. My phone is complete garbage. Yeah, but maybe you could plug it in and charge your phone as well. I think we all know that that's kind of a spoof on words, USB pal. And I don't have any intentions to sell it, but I do enjoy building things, making things. And I have a lot of great ideas for this product here coming up that will improve on it. But to get started with my thought process, $12.78 will net you two of these Yipin Hex Hot. And with two of those, let's say that's $6.50 each, plus $2 for each set of power pole connectors. So for $8.50, less than $10, you're making yourself a Pell. So if you can't afford to have a good buddy, you might as well get yourself a Pell. In fact, you can get two Pells and still be cheaper than it is to have a buddy. Now, one of the things I will kind of make a note of here, the specifications on here, if you go to the Amazon page yourself, well, the specifications do show 10 to 35 volts, which is very close to your good buddy. And uh, it is waterproof, moisture proof. I did notice and make the observation that there was a lot of good sealing on here. Let me get another one to show you. There you go. Uh, as you can see here, there's really nice potting. These are essentially going to be waterproof. This is 20 gauge wire where I believe your, your buddy would be 18 gauge wire. Although for charging USB, I don't think it's gonna make a huge difference. And then we have our USB cable too. So overall, let's see, our USB cable is something like 14 inches in length. And then our leads for the power, they're only about six inches maybe? Let's see. Yep, only six inches. So that's what a USB pal is. So here's the deal, a USB Buddy 2 from PowerWorks is a new device. And why don't we compare the USB Buddy 2 to this USB Pal that I'm showing you right now, because there are a couple of different specifications. And uh, let's just take a look here. I'll link you to the USB Buddy, as well as this Amazon link below, so you can make your own comparisons. This is the USB Buddy too. Okay, and if we page down here, operating voltage is eight to 35 volts. Whereas if we go over to Amazon, the operating input voltage is 10 to 35 volts. All right, not too far off and then five volt output with a three amp max. And then we look here and there is a five volt output with a three amp max right here. Now this is 15 watts. And if we look here, it shows that it's up to 27 watts. So as far as the quick charge goes, I was able to do a rapid charge with my phone and that seemed okay. However, I could tell you that the advertised on the USB Buddy is different from the Amazon link. So let's take a look now. The USB length on the USB Buddy 2 is 14 inches, and that's exactly what we saw with the uh, Amazon one. And then if we go back over here, it says that there's two mounting tabs. We could see that over voltage protection, over current protection, over temperature protection, sort circuit protection, excuse me, reverse polarity protection, and uh, recommended install with the inline five amp fuse. But if we go over to here, again, we have epoxy resin potting, shock proof, waterproof, moisture proof, over voltage, over current, overheating, short circuit, and can automatically be uh, restarted or resume normal operations once the fault is eliminated. So I wanted to show you those and I wanted to compare them because I figured it would be fair. I'll go ahead and leave a link in the comment below and uh, hey, if you want a buddy, get yourself a buddy. If you want a pal, get yourself a pal. Have a good one, and thanks for watching the channel. Goodbye.